When submitting a news release to the peer-reviewed publications category, details about the associated research paper get added on the second page of the submission form, the additional info page. First, make sure to respond to the question about whether the, con the news release describes a peer-reviewed publication. Then, if you have the DOI, the Digital Object Identifier, for the research paper handy, add it to the DOI field. Next, look up the related journal name in order to add it to the release. Do this by clicking on the magnifying glass icon next to the related journal name field. This opens the search box where you can type in the name or partial name of the journal and locate it from the list. Once found, check the box next to it and click the blue select button. If your organization received a tip sheet notification from this journal through the Reclerc platform, then a clickable line in blue will appear below the related journal name field. Click into that link to view a list of, of articles. If you had entered a DOI on the page already, then the research paper associated with that DOI would be listed here available for selection. Otherwise, you'll just see a full list of all the articles that have authors from your organization in this journal upcoming. To view additional details about a given paper, click on the arrow button at the end at the far left. This will expand the view to show you additional details such as the DOI, any publication or embargo dates, as well as the full author list and any other details is available. Use this as an opportunity to make sure that you select the correct article from the list. And once you've identified it, click the appropriate checkbox and click the blue transfer data button. You can see that some information has been automatically imported from the tip sheet into the news release now. This includes the DOI for the paper, as well as the article's title. Also imported is the earliest outreach time and date, as well as the embargo date and time, and in turn the public release date and time. Other information that may be available for import, depending on the journal, include author conflict of interest statements and article publication dates. Lastly, if available, check the Notify Journal box. This is strongly encouraged, but optional. Doing so will notify the journal's press office and grant them view-only privileges of your news release once it has been approved by Eureka Alert staff. This is available exclusively through the Eureka Alert platform between author press offices and journal press offices. The benefit to notifying the journal press office in this way is to increase coordination between the journal press office and author press offices which is especially useful and important during the embargo period. At this point in the submission process, you can add any other additional details on this page as you like, and then you can proceed with your submission.